welcome to this getting started episode about our charts. I will briefly highlight their main features and functions for you. To open a new chart, go to the toolbar, open the new tab, and select Chart Window. Depending on your trade ideas plan, you can have a set number of charts open simultaneously. To change the symbol of a chart, simply click into the window and start typing. This will bring up the change symbol field right away. You can enter either the ticker or the company's name. To move back in history, use the scroll wheel of your mouse or the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. To zoom in and out, press the control key on your keyboard while using the scroll wheel of your mouse. Alternatively, you can use the left and right arrow keys whilst pressing the control key. The time frames of our charts range from 1 minute to monthly. You can add trend lines, arrows and text. You can add a multitude of indicators. You can choose between various types like candlestick charts, line charts, bar charts, area charts, and more. You can easily define the background color, candle color, as well as text color. Many additional chart features are located in the Properties drop-down. Here, you can choose whether to display pre- and post-market data, crosshairs, indicators, your trade executions, and our AI-powered smart risk levels, just to name a few. Our charts provide you with a quick-to-grasp, smart risk assessment for each stock. They display the target level and smart stop, as well as a suggested swing exit, for longer-term holds. To be notified when specific price levels are reached, you can set price alerts right in your charts. And, with an account at a participating broker, orders can be sent directly from the charts to the broker, either via one-click order entry, or via drag and drop of the buy and sell icons. All chart features can be accessed via the right-click menu, or via these icons up here. Most trade idea windows, including our scans, can be synced with a chart. To enable symbol linking for a chart, right-click into it. Now, add a checkmark to the left-hand side of the symbol linking option and choose a color. Let's quickly open a scan to test this out. First, I need to assign the scan to the same color group. To do so, I right-click into it, select symbol linking, and choose the color. and voila, any symbol I click on will now appear in my chart as well. This was just a short overview of the features of our charts, please check out our user guide for more in-depth info. And please never hesitate to contact us in case of any questions.